Okay then, here we go. New update day, new map, Marita, and first thing you've got to do, you've got to find the tractor. If you don't know where this is on Conquest, it's just behind the A flag, so if you spawn as the Germans, you're going to be able to grab this thing pretty much straight away. And it serves no other purpose than being some sort of meme for the map, but considering no other multiplayer map at the moment has drivable tractors in it, unless you want to play Firestorm, then this is the only way you can use tractors in Battlefield 5 multiplayer. And, well, I don't really do much with it, but you've got to take it for a little spin when you first go, see if you can get a random road kill. This time, I wasn't so lucky. I was really lucky the first time I got to play at EA Play and I managed to run somebody over, which was pretty cool, but I think they were expecting me because I saw somebody else do this in the round that I played before that one. And... Um, and yeah, they managed to get a kill, but like the guy just comes across the bridge and I think they know that the tractor's coming, so they are anticipating it. But in this video, it's just a unscripted commentary. This is uh, one of the matches on Conquest that I play today. And um, I've been having an absolute blast with Marita so far, honestly. As a, an infantry focused uh, Battlefield fan, this is like a, like a dream come true for me. If Mercury was a really good infantry focused map, although there are vehicles in that, there's some tanks and some planes in the sky here. It's infantry and a couple of transport vehicles and that's basically it. And you're just fighting on this Greek Albanian mountainside and the colour palette is just incredible. Like, visually, this map is stunning. It's absolutely incredible and I think the team at Dice LA did an absolutely fantastic job with it. Um, pretty much all the assets are new. Well, when I say new, a lot of the houses are shared with ones that are on Mercury. If you go inside the houses, you'll see that they've got a similar layout and things like that. But in terms of what's actually been created, I don't feel like this is reusing assets. It may reuse some assets, and as I said, it's using some of Mercury stuff. But the two maps were made together, so they're sort of new assets for both maps. But yeah, it feels unique. It is visually stunning, and it's really, really good fun if you're an infantry player. You might see a few kills or deaths here where like it seems a bit stupid that what I'm doing but I was kind of just trying to play the map and just do stuff and try and figure everything out. Like here on the E flag, this is one of those fortress flags where you can just build a massive fortress of fortifications around it if you want to and you can completely lock it down. Although it is missing some, uh, some barbed wire I have to say. I thought there would be like barbed wire placements in front of these sandbags but turns out uh, those haven't been added at this point but yeah I really like the E flag here I like the C flag as well and the A flag's pretty good fun over by the German spawn but I'm not sure what happened here how did this guy not kill me like I'm on 20 health how did this guy not kill me and down on four health now <laughs> I'm not sure how I actually managed to survive that gunfight and this one as well this is interesting like maybe it's just because maybe it's just because these guys are playing the map for the first time their aim's all off but how am I not dead like, honestly, how did I not die there? It's a bit ridiculous, but, um... No, like, overall, my first match of Marita, you're going to see plenty of gameplay in here. Of, like, just different areas. Like, I switched over to, to Medic now to give you guys a, a different idea of how the map plays. You're going to need lots of Medics on Marita. This, this, this shot here with the mountain in the background, absolutely incredible. All the colours. It looks incredible at 1440p. I'm playing on low settings here, and it looks this good. So imagine what it looks like in ultra settings. I might might do a video on that maybe. But yeah, you're going to need lots of medics on Marita. There's so much action happening all the time. There's enemy players literally round every corner. Footsteps everywhere. Explosions going off. I think this is a really good clip to show you just how many people can get killed when the two teams clash together in the middle of the map. I turn around here and I'm like, oh, everyone's dead. <laughs> And I, I did. It wasn't there when I first turned round. I managed to cheekily throw a grenade back whilst I was reviving that guy. I didn't even mean to do it, but I managed to throw a grenade back. Like this is the kind of action level that you're getting all the time on Marita. It's literally right up there at like a solid eight out of ten for constant action. There are low points, and I'll show you a clip of that a little bit later on, and that actually plays out really well as well. But. It's, it's an infantry focus map. It, it's linear, it's tight, there's lots of undulating terrain, and there's loads of levels that you can work with. A lot of verticality here on Marita, so, like, if, if you're a fan of infantry gameplay, you're, you're absolutely going to love this map. There's no reason why you wouldn't like this map as, a, as an infantry player. I got caught out here by this uh, medic appearing through the smoke. 
but uh, I luckily got a revive and we can uh, we can carry on with the uh, with the street that we were going on. But there's lots of different avenues that you can take on Marita. Like down here, where I'm just about to revive this guy, you can flank all the way under the cliff and get round to the D flag if you want to. You can also take that right flank and go up and over towards the D flag, or you can take this central one as well and you can get through here. Like. It's just a choke point, this bit. Like, like the guys are above you on the cliff. They're shooting down. They're dropping explosives, throwing grenades. It's clearly built to be just a bit of a clusterfuck, but I honestly don't mind that. As an infantry player, I, I don't really mind that, and I think Battlefield 5's gunplay really uh, really makes this map excel. I got quite lucky there with that uh, that kill. His name was Sandy Teta. That's a great name. I respect that guy for that name alone. Do you know what? Just watching this all back... I don't even remember this this little part, but like, there are just some parts of it where the color like really pops in the video that I'm watching now as I as I like unscripted commentate over the top of this. But you don't notice all of those colors when you're playing. Obviously, you're focusing on on what's happening in front of you. Like, you don't notice the subtle differences between the oranges and the greens and 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 all that kind of stuff. But it really is a beautiful map. This it, it has to be said. Like, there's nothing else that looks like it in the game at the moment. And it kind of reminds me, actually, of the uh, of the Tireur map in the uh, in the War Stories, which, actually, I made a video about a couple of weeks after Battlefield 5's launch and said, this map needs to be a multiplayer map because of those dragon's teeth that are in the middle. But also, like, I said about the colour palette because there's, like, none of that deep orange or autumnal setting available in Battlefield 5 at launch. And now we have that here with Marita. It's actually... As much as I've been saying, like, I wanted, like, a really gritty feeling for, for Battlefield 5, and I wanted more darker environments, harsher environments, lots of rain, smoke, and stuff like that. You know, Mercury and Marita, it, I, I've enjoyed shooting people in the sunshine, let's put it that way. I didn't expect to feel like these would be good maps, especially when I heard, oh, would... We're doing the Greek front of, of World War II. It's not something that you really hear about all that much. And I'm like, why don't we do some more stuff like French towns and all that kind of stuff and the Germans pushing through and the British pushing back. And But no, we got these two Greek maps. And actually, of all of the maps in the game, I'd say that Mercury and Marita now, they're the best looking maps in the game. And they provide a really unique visual setting that you don't get anywhere else. This is the slower part of the gameplay that I was talking about, actually. Uh, I switch back over to to support here, and um, the the British had just taken the A flag, and I spawned back at the uh, at the HQ, and I decided to try and push back up on the A flag to try and get that back, and uh, quite a few people also did the same. But you can see here that there's a lot more open space towards the German spawn with all these fields and the farm and stuff like that, and uh, it does allow for a little bit more of mid range gameplay to take place, like this guy sitting all the way up at the back there. That's what I'm talking about verticality. People can see you from quite a distance in certain points of this map, and I really quite like that because you have to be aware of what's going on around you pretty much all the time. But this is where the game plays a little bit slower. You have a little bit of time to think here. The closer you get to C and D, the more frantic the action gets. But at the moment, you can take a little bit of a backseat if you're playing around this area. So if you're not quite comfortable with the gunplay, maybe just hang around this area of the map a bit more and you should pick up some kills and whatever. This guy here, sitting up on the rock, our boy's AT uh, sniper camper bike bipod guy. They're, they're always there. Every map you play on, there's always an area for them to bipod camp. I thought that was a good AT rifle shot, actually. But yeah, as you get closer to C, you can see that the the map tightens in a little bit, like a like a like a the waist point where you've put like a belt round you. You pull it really tight. It's like pulled it right in, and it gets it gets really chaotic. It's the area of the map that I like the most, I have to say, because it's just constant action. I can't remember what happens here, actually. I think we're going through... I think we try... Yeah, we capture the D flag here because we managed to clear out the enemies. But here, again, verticality. See, I'm going down the hill. There's multiple layers of rock as you come down to the D flag. The actual D capture zone, if you look on the minimap, is quite skinny. So uh, you've got to be paying attention a lot of the time. And here, like, I was being shot by somebody further up the hill. And I had absolutely no idea where they were. Got lucky and heard the footsteps. The guy probably should have killed me when I was down here, to be honest. And I'm still messing around trying to build fortifications in the middle of a gunfight. I'm not sure what the hell I was doing at that point. But this is where things really start to kick off in terms of action. 
Like, I think you can hear a V1 coming in here. There's artillery going off. It gets a bit ridiculous after this point because people are starting to build up requisition points and it's at this point of the round with about 250, 220 tickets to go. People start spending those requisition points. I think you're going to see another V1 call in in a minute. I'm getting, picking off a couple of kills here. This is why I like the LS26. It's got some really nice flat recoil to it. You've only got 20 bullets per magazine. As you can see there, I didn't manage to finish the guy off because I had to reload. But mid to long range, this thing's really, really good. <laughs> There's some of the uh, the smoke coming in. Oh, yeah, this is the push round, isn't it? Yeah, we managed to get a, a couple of kills here, actually. I redlined it a bit. I shouldn't really have done that, but I redlined a bit. And here comes the V1. And another one. <laughs> the double V1. You don't see that very often with them landing that close to each other, but... Yeah, I really enjoyed this round. But I just had a good time messing about, trying to learn where people run. By the end of it, this D-flag, all of the trees are just completely gone and been destroyed. I called in an artillery on that house in front, because you can see from the minimap, they're all in that house. But, like I said... It's like it's like an ant hill once you get into certain parts with just infantry on the enemy team going going everywhere. It's absolutely chaotic fun, and I, I really really enjoyed it. That said, I've, I've got some thoughts on breakthrough that I'm going to talk about in another video. Not quite sure breakthrough is uh, implemented the best that it possibly could be here on Marita, but I'll talk about that in another video. I'm just really happy that we got a good conquest map for. For pure infantry play and, and actually now I'm excited for Alson and Dan even more because I want to I want to get back into some all-out battlefield vehicle warfare as well on top of all this infantry stuff I love infantry gameplay but I kind of want Alson and Dan to come along so that we can get some of that some of that vehicle gameplay as well but yeah coming towards the end of the round now artillery still going off everywhere smoke everywhere finished off with a couple of headshots got completely lucky and blown up by sector artillery <laughs> if you want any idea of what Marita is like, that little clip there, just pure chaos. Absolute chaos. But thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you again in another video very, very soon.